If you want to find something, talk to someone who's already found it. If you're going to find Slumax Gold, you start with the Jackson letter. The story goes, after finding Slumax Gold's source, Jackson was weighed down with too much gold to carry out. So he buried what he couldn't transport, not knowing it would be his last expedition. Nowadays, that would have been 100,000 plus to walk out of there on his backpack. Back home in San Francisco, Jackson fell gravely ill. On his deathbed, he wrote a letter to a friend with clues to the location of his hidden treasure. Any prospector who's out there looking for this gold has got a copy of that letter in their back pocket. That's the reason they're out there in the first place. I buried part of the gold at the foot of a large tent-shaped rock. He says the canyon is guarded by three peaks. This is the one that I grew up on. The letter has been reprinted in a number of books, but I've never actually seen a handwritten version. Someone changed words in there. Someone redacted information. We need the original. 1947, lost mine hunted 25 years. Painter soon will try again. Who's this painter? Cyril Walters, a signed painter. I mean, it says here a copy of that letter came into Cyril Walters' hands in 1922. What? This newspaper predates the version I have by decades. This could be an original copy of the Jackson letter. It's a golden glint you see in the eyes of this quartet of Vancouver sign painters. All are treasure hunters, inspired by Cyril Walters. Bam. And there's four of them. I mean, one out of the four of these guys has someone that would know something. The article claims that this man and his friends have an actual original copy of the Jackson letter. Now we can get these guys. We can find their relatives. Like, somebody's got to have something. This piece of the puzzle could blow the whole legend wide open.